What's up, y'all? My assassin. What I've got here is a box from Arrow Hunter containing a Kestrel Flex. So, wanted to open it up, give you all a look at what I've got um, and what the Flex looks like, what's different about it. I currently use an Arrow Hunter Kestrel, so I will probably make some references back to the Kestrel versus the Flex. Um, you know, so maybe I'll do another video on just the Kestrel alone so you can catch up on that if you have other questions. But let's open up the box, see what we got going on. First off, cool little hat from Arrow Hunter. It's hot as shit, but I'm still going to rock it. And I ordered a complete system. Um, I already have ropes and everything myself, but I figure if I order a complete system, someone can use my Kestrel to film or just practice or whatever. Um, you know, it's a really windy day. Sorry about the wind. Uh, if you can't deal with the wind in a video, you're probably not going to be able to deal with the wind in a tree or when you're hunting. So just stay home and I don't know, look up videos on crocheting or some shit. Um, so first thing I've got in top of my bag here, again I ordered a complete system. This looks like, yeah, this is my uh, tether, six foot line, um, comes with a auto lock and carabiner, uh, little safety off of the prusik there, and yeah, that's a six foot tether line, uh, predator rope. Um, if I get some specs wrong, sorry, but yeah, that's what we got here. Let's get into the good stuff. This here is my flex. What we got next? Okay, this um, they already have figure eight one to the linesman loop, but this here is a linesman belt. I believe there's our uh, nine foot or ten foot, and right here is a sleeve. And what that does is it just keeps your rope from fraying, uh, saves from the abrasion while you're using your linesman belt going up the tree. But it's already spliced on the linesman loop here, uh, figurated, I'm sorry, not spliced. Um, the linesman loops are actually a little farther forward than back here like they were on the Kestrel, which is nice. They're also bright red, which it makes them easy to see and they have a reflective tracer. So in, at, in dark while you're setting up or climbing back down, if you got a headlight or something, you got that reflective strip right there on both your linesman and your bridge loop. Um, so yeah, that there's the linesman belt figurated already onto, uh, onto my linesman loop there. Again, auto locking carabiner has the, the safety and the slide to help one hand with the, the Prusik knot and it has the sleeve to help with the abrasion. Also got the back band here. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the other the other ones were. A little bit sleeker. Um, as small and easy as this is, um, I may carry it for some of them longer sits up in the tree. Um, I mean that virtually folds up to nothing and if it does add comfort it may be worth it to take that little bit that's up to you to decide uh, got the same uh, ADF Raptor buckles on the leg straps and the waist here couple things with the flex there was three options in camo broadside ASAT and predator I believe it's the predator fall gray that's what I opted for you get to choose that as well as three options in your bridge. Um, this is called the openable bridge loop, uh, webbed bridge, and as you can see, it comes off because it's got a carabiner on one side. I'll probably direct tie it. Um, and then the other side here, sewn in to the bridge, and it is adjustable here for your webbing strap. The reason I went with a webbing bridge, never really used a web bridge before, um, decided I wanted to try it. And if for some reason I don't like it, it's very easy to take off and attach 
or make a rope bridge, use the rope bridge I already have. So I figured I wanted to give this a try on this bridge and see what I think about it. And if I don't like it, I can very simply revert back to the rope. The other bridge options are a closed rope bridge. So your uh, bridge loops here are sewn through the spliced eye of the rope and then it's adjustable on the one side or an open rope bridge where you have the adjustable on one side and then you have a carabiner on the other just like this open web bridge. All right, that's the regular. What makes the flex different? Boom, that pleat, that flex right there. See how that pleats out? And then you can fold it right back up. So what this does is it makes it a little bit smaller profile while you're wearing it. But once you go to sit down or you're in the tree, it can expand and open up. And I'd say that's probably a good four inches. Uh, may, yeah, four, maybe even five inches of expansion you get there. Um, this is also a little bit thinner than the Kestrel was. It's a single layer because you have so much webbing to then hold the weight. It doesn't have to be as big and as durable. Um, let me rip my tag off here. Make sure you read your safety instructions, all that good shit. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this guy on. Um, it's one thing that's nice about the open web bridge too, is I can open that up to put it on. I don't have to step through it. Is it a big deal? To some, to me, I've never really had a problem stepping through my bridge, but whatever. I have the options that I don't have to now. Just the waistband, get our leg straps here. Again, they're the same buckles as the, uh, the Kestrel had. You can look up all the specs and everything if that's your thing. Um, you know, all that information is available through Arrow Hunter. Um, and then I have my adjustable webbing bridge here with an auto lock beaner to attach to my bridge there. So it's not necessarily adjustable on the fly. Like if you think about like a Ropeman one or even, you know, the, uh, the little tab that they put on the prosthetic knot, um, this, you know, if you, if you take your weight off of the bridge, you can easily adjust it easily lengthen it shorten it whatever you got to do but you can't do it while you have tension on it like you can maybe say a ropeman one or something like that but quick simple easy adjustments um it's some tough thick webbing i mean obviously you need it to be for your bridge but um yeah it, it slides through here real nice because it is a a stiff tight webbing um Feels like good strength. Now the part you all want to see. Yeah, what's up? Um, bam, there you go. When you hang down, that flex is open to give you more cradle space. Um, and then if you're walking through the woods or you don't need it, you can kind of just close her back up. Um, I got my leg straps a little too tight here, so it's not moving very much. There we go. But you can fold her up when you don't need it. If you don't need that space while you're walking, this is actually wears. Um, right now, this feels better on me than my Kestrel did. That may be because I was using a size two Kestrel. When I'm hanging in it, it the size one just seemed to give me a little bit more pinch than I wanted. The size two, it wore into the woods a little bit bigger but when i was in the tree i liked it a little bit better that's why i think this is probably going to be my most comfortable option this feels great on me right now the way it is and then once i get in the tree i can open that up i can have a little bit more and uh you, you can kind of really feel the way it cups up under the bottom of your legs more that it's going to give you that little bit more of a, a cup and a seat 
um, that I found I got from the size 2 Kestrel, but the size 2 just seemed to be a little bit too big for me in general. So um, I think this Kestrel Flex is kind of like a size 1 to say a size 1.75 or one and a half. Um, it gives you the flexibility, gives you the options. You get all the great same American made in-house quality that Arrow Hunter provides on all their products. You know, they're not only um, the creator, they are the manufacturer, they are the distributor, all around good American company. Uh, proud to support them, proud to, to, to work with them and proud to get in the tree with this here and see what it's all about. I can't really tell you right now what it's like sitting in, what it's like hanging from because I haven't done it yet. So that's going to go for another video, but that there review from the Modern Assassin on what you're going to get from your Arrow Hunter Flex.